I have an abrasion on the hose, on the brake hose for this caliper where it looks like the tire has been rubbing up against. And so I have ordered a new hose and I will install that here and then bleed out this caliper. I'm working on this brake hose and I'll tell you I've been working on this thing for hours because it didn't want to break loose. As you might expect, break, uh, the tube nut won't break loose. And I've been going at it for several hours because I don't want to tear up the tube nut. I mean, I could uh, reflare the tubing, put a new nut on it, and go through all that. But it's a whole lot nicer if you can keep the original parts and keep them intact. I'm just going to show you what I did because I've managed to just now break it loose. And now, first of all, I used a torch. And it's already broken loose, so I'm not going to put that on there. But um, I kind of had the flame turned down. You really got to watch out from a safety standpoint because there's all, you know, undercoating in there enough here that you can set on fire. Then the second thing is brake fluid is flammable, and the hose can uh, can burn. So um, what I did was, well, now that I've got it broken loose, first of all, let's. Um, um, here's one of my tube nut wrenches. That's a 16 millimeter here on the top. And here's my 12 millimeter on the bottom. Drop this dude off of here. There we go. So, number, number of things that I did. First of all was heat right on the nut. Nothing but the, just the nut. Not up here. Not on here. Just on the nut itself. And I put water I've got a little bucket of water and I got a paper towel. Put water up here so that heat this, but if this water starts to boil, get up to 200, you know, 200 plus degrees and starts to boil, it's time to quit so that you don't melt the hose and, and do bad things. So um, flame on here. Um, when it's done, hit it with penetrating oil and back off and let it soak and then put more water up on this fitting to uh, keep keep it cool. Again, you don't want it to burst, you don't want to have a fire because the, the hose uh, melts through or uh, comes off and dumps brake fluid out. The next thing is you can probably see is this tube nut is not real, it, it, it's not perfect because somebody else has been on it in years past and so that was a problem. So anyway, uh, first heat then as soon as you get the heat off and it cools for just a, I mean, you don't want to have flaming penetrating oil, but then spray penetrating oil on it, let it sit in there. And I had to go through that cycle twice. And then you probably noticed my, um, my wrench. These tube nut wrenches are always a little bit loose. And so what I did was took this vice grip and clamped it across the end about as hard as I, I could. I mean, it's a, it's a pretty good bite, but it takes the opening down on the wrench so that while it wasn't tight to the nut, it was, yeah, it was getting pretty close. I was able to do that, and then, as you saw in the beginning video, with, um, with this one up on the bottom and the 16 millimeter, this guy up on the top, and just applying steady pressure, it went ahead and popped. And now that I've got it popped loose, we'll set the camera down here for a second. Pop the wrench off. Put a few dimples in the chrome on my wrench, but that's okay. So now that I've got it broken loose, and that's a 12 millimeter by the way, and the nut is loose, I'm going to snug it back up. And what I want to do, you know, you've um, You've probably seen and heard me on these when you're working on brakes. You don't want any mineral oil, uh, conventional oil, uh, getting in your brake fluid system. So now that I got it to pop, I'm going to rinse this, this down before I pull the hose apart. I'll just rinse it down with some alcohol and make sure that it's clean. And then, then I'm going to come in here and um, lift the caliper back off. The bolts are in place, but they're um, not tightened. And then I can take out the banjo bolt on the back here. 
Now you can't see it, but it's down toward the bottom. I'll take off the banjo bolt and take the hose off, and then I'll get a new get the new hose and fittings in here. I did have a bucket of water here, um, along with two fire extinguishers, one by the. So you can see there's the old hose. I got the banjo bolt, banjo bolt out of the caliper, and it's got a pretty good set in it. The nut's kind of a kind of a little bit rounded off. But, but the technique worked, so I guess I'm not going to fuss with it, or about it, I mean. So then we'll put the new one in. That needs to sit in there. And then I'll have to feed this around. And get that, get that nut in there. You really want to make sure that you don't cross thread these guys either. Because that'll make a mess. You want to make sure you can um, you want to make sure you can finger thread that in. And right now I'm going to try to get it going so that it stops dripping. And the dripping's good. That means that that means that it pretty well rinsed off the uh, any residual penetrating oil been sitting there dripping for about five minutes while I get some other things ready and I'm going to finalize where this sits and clip it um, after I get it uh, tied into the caliper which will take me a couple minutes here. Well, as I said this is kind of tight quarters but I'm going to take a shot at this and see if I can get this bolt torqued up without putting the caliper back in where in its normal spot. If you don't get enough, you won't crush the copper washers. Yeah, I'm not there. I'm close. But um, I'll have to drop the caliper in and do it from underneath. Um, the reason I was hesitating about dropping the caliper in is that, and I'll show you in a minute here. Get the linings in place, and then I'm going to set the caliper back in just part way. For bleeding, it helps if the caliper is not all the way down in, and so that the bleeder screw is more available. I'll have to get this hose where it belongs. I need to get that other fitting tightened down, and then bleed this guy. But the hose is pretty much there. And being that I'm in, in back in this corner working, I'm uh, going to stop recording. For